What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Taking a look at Dogecoin this morning. Take a look over at Bitcoin as well. Nice little Dogecoin pump yesterday. We're going to talk about a couple different things on the chart as well as my current position I had in Dogecoin locking in some profits yesterday after noon. Guys, taking a look over at the Federal Reserve. So we have the Fed meeting today, the 26th of July, FOMC meeting today. I believe that is later in the afternoon. I think it's like 2 or 2.30. So I would expect some volatility in and around that time frame. Usually markets are pretty quiet up until then. So we spoke about, we have been talking about Dogecoin for a while now that I expect, I was looking for a decent pop to the upside in Dogecoin and it's been pretty volatile, choppy, and then we started to finally get that breakout the last couple days here off of some support down here at the 6557400 level and then move up potential resistance up in here you know depending on what bitcoin does and the rest of the markets you know this pump could just be getting started so i actually locked in some profits yesterday afternoon on my dogecoin position so i've been in and out of this for a for many weeks now buying and selling within here you know basically break even slight loss trades so i finally had a nice profit yesterday afternoon and i locked that in and i will show you a one of the reasons why i should say keeping in mind this thing could easily run much higher than where i took my profits so if you're long on dogecoin you know hopefully it goes higher for you and you do you do well so to start this off, one of the reasons why I locked in some profits is I took basically this high move here, ran the fibs over and down, and I locked in near the highs yesterday, which was which was nice. Just happened to be the time time of the day, and so that was right around the three eight fib. So if you look over here, three three eight two Fibonacci level based off this high and this low so the high is roughly up there at like 15.8 and the low is down there at like 0.05 based off that we rallied right into that fib you could see i'll actually zoom in on the chart for you you can see we found some resistance right around that fib so i said you know what making some good money on this trade it's been a long road to get to you know, to get into profit for this, I've been buying and then getting stopped out multiple times. So I had a nice, nice solid profit. And I figured with the FOMC meeting coming up, taking some profits off the table, you know, for me, that is okay. I will do that. Keeping in mind, guys, this thing could easily run much higher though. So, you know, I'm not telling you to take your profits or, you know, hold your position, but for me, that was the decision I made. So we talked about in yesterday's video, we have some much higher profit, or excuse me, some much higher price targets potentially. You know, markets have to cooperate to get up to these levels. So basically first major target up there at 14.9, call it 15 cents. We spoke about that in yesterday's video. That's where this top of the move came in here. That was the top at 14.9. So that is still relevant, and I would be watching that. Assuming we can break you know, the high over here at basically 12 and then get through these resistance levels here at 10 and basically 10 cents. So if we, and then we have a couple more up here that we spoke about yesterday, which was 21 up in here 21 cents you know and this does has a this does have a look 
and it could just be getting started. It does have that look as well that it see a big move to the upside. So we'll have to see how this thing plays out down the road, but I was long from right around this seven area. High sixes, low sevens, and I locked in around yesterday's highs. So I made about a 20%, give or take a few percentage points um, on that trade. So for me, I was happy with that, especially with the with the way Bitcoin is acting and then with this FOMC meeting. You know, I would hate to see that profit evaporate once again if we see some big red candles. As well as yesterday's video, I talked about, you know, potentially like a rising wedge here. And if we get some bearish action, bearish action over in Bitcoin, we could see this thing fall back down to the 655, maybe even 619. So I didn't really want to see those profits evaporate, evaporate after trying, you know, five or so times within here, getting stopped out, and then finally seeing that thing run. But, you know, zooming out on this chart and in the correct market, you know, 20% is small potatoes and we could easily see Bitcoin or excuse me, Dogecoin way up here in the 30 cent range. You know, who knows if we'll ever get back up to 74, 75, but so a 20% way down in here is nothing. But for this market, market condition, you know, hey, I am happy with that. So about a 20% trade. Took the profits yesterday right off the 3.8 fib at the high end of the range for Dogecoin. I was trading Dogecoin over in Tasty Trade, the Tasty Trade platform. If you have not heard of it, I will leave a link down in the video description. Jump it over to BTC real quick, guys. Bitcoin. Bitcoin looking a little heavy, you know, with this. Potentially, this move to the downside is not over yet. So we, we are finding support so far at the 29,143. That's this white line on my chart, 29,143. And we'll see what happens today. But this thing, you know, we're rising up slightly. And I think there is a, another break coming to the downside. Where it stops is anybody's guess. 28,249.67 is my next level below the market. Represents the breakout zone here on the 20th. Also represents a resistance level over here on the 29th of May. And that would put the price down roughly about 3.5% where it is. And if that takes place, you can expect XRP, you can expect Dogecoin, and all of them to not go higher in price. If anything goes sideways to down, if Bitcoin looks like it's getting ready to make another leg to the downside. So that is my thoughts, guys. And once again, I locked in my profits on Dogecoin. That particular trade, you know, I was long from much, much lower prices and got stopped out, you know, a couple different times. And then, anyways, just about 7.068.07072 was my entry. Locked in yesterday at the high end of the range. It was about a 20% or so trade. And then if you, through the FIB levels from the swing high over here, which was back in November, to the swing low right here, which was in June, if you take a look right here, 0.382 Fibonacci level. And then we'll zoom in on the chart so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yesterday's high came in just about at that level. And I said, you know what? That might be resistance for at least a couple days or so. So let me lock in the profits. And uh, if we get a decent pullback, you know, maybe we get a pullback down to the 236, maybe even lower, maybe down to one of my levels at the 6.5. And markets get ugly, you know. I will gladly reestablish that level at the six five five. I think is very solid support. We've seen that many times. So that's 
That's my thoughts on Dogecoin, guys. Welcome to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us. And I'll catch you in the next video. All links are always down in the video description. Take care.